Constellation, look! Hmm, oh, very good! My turn! Hey, I found one! Zeke's constellation, look! Hey, that's right! <laughs> what? Did you see that? Yeah! Is it what I think it is? Zeke, your disguise doesn't fool me. I've told you my picture is about plants, and as far as I know, monkeys are animals. Aww. But I wanted to be part of your drawing. Hello, guys. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What are you carrying? Uh, hi, hello, guys. This is, uh, uh, a rug, isn't it, Billy? Yeah, yeah, a rug for our tree house. Well, we have to go. We're late. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye, -bye. Together. Once again, let's repeat the pop's rhythm. Looking at this sun umbrella, I think maybe starting at the beach isn't a bad idea. I agree. Yay! We're going to the beach! I found it, Mac. Look. Cool. The flashlight's perfect for attracting them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At night, you can see this light for miles. Wait a minute. But what if they come during the day? Good question. I don't see anything that might help us solve the Pops mystery, Fishtronaut. Yeah, so far we've only seen crabs at this beach. Ooh! might mean the lilies disappeared because there was no sun. <laughs> Galloping <laughs> guppies, we figured out the clues. 
Let's look for the lilies somewhere darker, like in the forest. And move them somewhere else if we have to. <laughs> it was really huh? fun playing with you, buddy, but uh, <laughs> now I need to get out of this hot sun. <laughs> Bye. Zeke, let's go! Hey, where are you going with that mirror? Oh, oh, you're here, huh? The mirror, it's for, uh... It's for a peacock we've just met. Yeah, yeah, a really vain peacock that loves to look at himself in the mirror. Yeah, and he's waiting for us. Uh, let's go, Mac. Uh, bye, everybody. I found it, a lily! No, Zeke, that's a busy lizzy. It's different from a lily. Have a look. But that means we're gonna have to move these flowers, too! No, we won't, Zeke. Some flowers, like these ones, don't need as much sun as the lilies. They much prefer to live in the shade. That's why they grow here. Hey, then the problem might be that something's blocking the sun in the place where the lilies grow. But where? Hmm, very huh? good. It has a very mild taste, not too sweet. No, I don't huh? know. I've tasted better primroses. Huh? Huh? Ooh. Oh, hello there. Would you like to try some of this primrose nectar? No, thanks. We're looking for lilies. Have you seen any? Oh, now that I think about it, it's been a while since I've had any lily nectar. It's only one of my favorites. Oh, but I prefer violets. They're much better. Do you know where we can find some lilies by any chance? To be honest, I don't know right now. But if I look, I can easily find a lily. So you can help us find them? Oh, I'd love to, but the sun is too hot, you know. Yes, if only we were looking for violets. <sighs> hey, you don't have to worry about it. I have an idea. I am Earthling Mac, and this is Earthling Billy. Welcome to Earth. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Lilies. Huh? You're Fistronaut. And who are these butterflies? Oh, my. Lilies everywhere. Lilies, lilies, lilies. The, the lilies! lilies. Was a secret, but you found it. Yeah, we made a landing pad for extraterrestrials. Yeah, we saw flying saucers last night. They must be out there looking for a safe place to land. And what did they look like? They were shiny like stars, except they could fly. They were meteorites. <laughs> meteorites? What's, What's that? that? Meteorites are celestial bodies that burn when entering the atmosphere. They are also called shooting stars. The lilies are so pale. Yes, Zeke. They look like this because they were in the dark. Just like we need food, plants need energy oh. from the sun so that they can grow strong and healthy and bloom. Oh, no. So we almost wiped the lilies out. Yeah. 
That's all right, Billy and Mac. There's still time to save the lilies. Yeah, they just have to be in the sun for a while. So he dove down and swam back with a beautiful golden ball. Then she took the ball from the frog and ran away, leaving the frog and her promise behind. I don't believe it! She left the little frog there? But why? Zeke, you have to hear the whole fable to be able to understand. When will a frog become a prince? This story's really slow. A frog will become a prince? Yeah, and to turn him into a prince, she'll have to kiss him. She'll kiss the frog? Yeah. Just let me finish the story. A box! Whoa! I guess we'll finish this story later. Let's open the pop together. Once again, just follow along. <laughs> Yippee! We, we did, did it. it! A crown on a rock. <laughs> and a bottle. Oh, what's this? There's a ship inside that bottle. What can these clues huh? mean? This crown? That's the frog's crown. Which frog, Zeke? The prince frog's crown. There's a prince in the form of a frog here in the park. And Marina will have to kiss him to break the spell. That's it. Frogs become princes only in fairy tales, Zeke. But then, what? Maybe this crown has something to do with a king frog. Is there such a thing as a king of frogs? We have to look. If we're looking for a frog, the first place we need to visit is the yellow frog swamp. That's right. Let's solve another mystery. Hey there, Your Majesty. Uh, my name is Zeke. Hello, Mr. Frog. We need your help. Do you recognize this crown? Very nice. It's the first time I've seen one up close. I've only ever heard of crowns and fables. Ah, so you're not the king of frogs. Not him, Marina. Let's check somewhere else. You guys even have a king? You gotta be joking. If there isn't a king around here... Who else knows about crowns and kings? Two clues and we don't even know where to begin. How about we split up? I'll go to the bottom of the lake and talk to Happy Plum about the bottle clue. While you and Zeke try to figure out the crown clue. Cool. We'll meet later by Quiet Lake. 
Besides the lion, I don't know any of the kings in the park. The lion! Majesty? Uh, maybe you should talk to him. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Lion. Do you think you could help us? But of course, my friend. You're the king of the park. Have you lost your crown? I don't wear a crown. And actually, I'm not the only king in the park. I'm just one of them. One of the kings? That's right. Now, not everyone knows this, but there are many, many animal species that have kings. There's the king snake, the king vulture. Agent Happy Plum, who calls? Agent Happy Plum? Yes, in fins and scales. You're not Agent Happy Plum. Of course I am. A sea witch cast mm -hmm. a spell on me. And to break the spell, I only need a couple dozen fresh algae. Mm -hmm. Agent Rosie Barb, it's so <laughs> nice to see you. Did you see what happened to Happy Plum? Happy Plum? No, this is just some <laughs> tiny fish who likes to tell tall tales. Oh, that's not him. Where's Happy Plum? Oh, gee. Happy Plum is gone. He left early. But I found this. It looks important. It's an invitation for the 34th International Goliath Grouper meeting. I know this design. A crown on a rock. It's one of the pop clues. That's the Goliath Grouper symbol. Happy Plum is a Goliath Grouper fish. That drawing means... King of the Rocks. We need to make sure Happy Plum is at this meeting and that he's safe. What do you mean? He might be in danger? You got it. Let's find Marina. I'll explain along the way. We talked to the lion. And it was a waste of time. He said he's not the only king in the park. And he told us to look for the King Vulture and the King Snake. And the King of Rocks. I've already figured out the mission, Marina. Hmm? What's this? An invitation. The Pop's Clue. This design is the same as the Pop's Clue. And the clue is King of the Rocks. And Happy Plum is supposed to be at the King of the Rocks meeting. We have to go to this meeting. We have to be sure he's all right. I'll go with you. I need to get my diving equipment. <laughs> diving e e e equipment. Diving, right? Going all the way to the bottom? That's okay, Zeke. We'll be right back. Oh. <gasps> okay. Well, if you need anything from shore, you can count on me. I'll be right here. either. If he's not here, something must have happened. On his way to the meeting. It's the Pop's Clue. A ship in a bottle. Goliath groupers love to swim inside shipwrecks. It's what they like to do best. If there's a ship in the Pop's Clue, then it means that Happy Plum might be in trouble somewhere in a shipwreck. We must run. I mean swim. <laughs> visited ship in the area. Goliath groupers love to swim here. Let's search this ship and find Agent Happy Plum. Do you hear something? Yes, and it sounds like snoring. We found him. 
for sure. It's Happy Plum Snore. Agent Vistronaut, Agent Rosie Bar, and Maria. Oh, me and my fascination for swimming in shipwrecks. <laughs> I was on my way to the meeting, but I heard about the ship, and as I was early, I decided to stop by for a while. Very bad idea. <laughs> but how did you get trapped? I noticed a door was open, and I didn't see there was a bookshelf leaning against it. Once I went through the door, the bookshelf fell down, blocking the way. I tried to get out through the other door, but it was locked. And when nobody showed up, I decided to sleep to save some energy. Now that you're free, you should go back home and get some rest. Yes, Agent Rosibar. But before that, I have to go someplace really important. And you are my special guests. <laughs> Can I be the monkey in boots? Can I be the monkey in boots? Can I? Can 